this is something with with all that is, that is true because because of the mercury resonance frequency but that's another talk for another day okay, so uh, you, you guys had mentioned vitamin d and, and this is something with with all um, so much of the literature that gets published on vitamins and supplements it, it ties into vitamin d so you have a lot of people that are on it and now we're just starting to see actual higher mortality rates in people that have higher vitamin D levels in some cases. And some of the thoughts are that it's tied to uh, vitamin D toxicity without adequate vitamin A. What are your thoughts on that? What are your thoughts on vitamin D in conjunction with vitamin K, vitamin A, in order to prevent that toxicity? And how does that relate to natural light? <laughs> you didn't know what you were getting into today, Anthony. I know, I just, I, I could see, I could see the box opening up. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm gonna, no, I love it, I love it. I'm going to explain this very, very simply. I have a blog in the time series coming up about this very issue, but I'm going to make it very simple. When you take oral vitamin D, you are taking the chemical signal of the photoelectric effect that occurs in the skin. So what does that mean? That means you have the chemical that should have come from the light collision with an electron in the UVB range. That means that the tissues have no photonic power in them. You just gave them the chemical signal. There's your answer. You don't want the chemical signal. You need the photonic power. Why is that the case? Here's another book you haven't read and Reuben has. It's called Roland Van Wick. Life Sculpting Light, and he's going to get the book now to show it to you. What did we learn in 1923 from the Russians, okay? Remember that, Remember, I told you about that book I read, dude, and the six papers? One of those, two of those papers were these Russian things. Basically, what I learned then is that every living cell, no matter if it's prokaryote or eukaryote, releases extreme low-frequency UV light. Do you know what that means? If you release that light for signaling, that means you have to have some way to recapitulate it, reassimilate it. Think about what I just said to you about vitamin D. If you take the chemical, you're not getting any of the photonic power. So you want to know why people die taking supplements? Because all you got is the chemical signal and you have none of the photonic power. So what are you doing there? It's akin to going in Chicago, driving to Los Angeles on a quarter tank of gas when you have 19 holes in the, in the gas tank and not having any money or a credit card to refill. That's exactly what happens. I'm done with it now.